algebra 1 number 5.7a, this is add polynomials of composite figures. A composite figure is a figure that's made up of simple geometric shapes, like this one's made with two quadrilaterals. You can see the little bump of the second one sticking out. This is a composite figure with a rectangle and a triangle. So we can have a figure inside of a figure and find the area of the green stripe by subtracting the area of the blue. If this is 6 inches by 6 inches, we know that the whole thing is 36 inches. And if the little blue part is 2 by 2, that's a 4. All we have to do is take the 4 from the 36, and we know that the green striped area is 32 square inches. See? We can write polynomials doing this. The yellow area of these figures can be written as polynomials. So in this one, we've got this side is an x and this side is an x. We don't know what they are, but this little square inside is a 3 by 3. So that's a 9, isn't it? And this is an x and an x that makes 2x. So now we've got 2x minus 3 squared. See? This one is x by x, and here's another identical one, x by x. See? It's the same height. And this one is 3 by that x. It's the same height. See? So this part of it becomes 2x times 2, or 2x squared, and this is 3x. See? They all use the same side height of x. So now we can combine the like terms. We've got 2x minus 3 squared. We've got 2x squared, because we've got two of these 2x's. And we've got 3x that we're adding. So now we can simplify. This 2x and that 3x make a 5x. And we're going to take away this negative 3 squared. 3 squared is a 9, so we're going to take away a 9. And then we've got this 2x squared that doesn't have any other like terms, so it's just going to come for the right, isn't it? But we need to write them in descending order from the most exponents to the least. So this one's going to go first. 2x squared is going to be first, then this x because it's to the first power, and then this 9 because there isn't an x, see? And then that's how we would write it in descending order. So remember to write the, follow, the final polynomial with the exponent in descending order from most to least, okay? Let's take a look at these. We can see that this is 2x across and x for a height, and to find the area we do length times width, right? But it's missing this section, and that's a section that's 2 times 3. That 2 times 3 would be a 6, wouldn't it? And we need to take it away from 2x by x. We wouldn't have to take it away if the whole thing was filled in here, would we? If this was all filled in, all inside of here, but it's not, so we need to take that away, okay? And then this one is 5 by x, but it's got a little 1 side by 2 side added to it, see? So that's like added to it, otherwise it would be 5 times x. So now we've got 2x squared, because there's an x here and an x here, and we're going to take away this 3 times 2, and then we're going to add this 5 times x and this 1 times 2, which is 2. We can combine the like terms. This minus 6 and plus 2 are like terms. They're just numbers, aren't they? So negative 6 plus 2 is a negative 4. Now we need to write it in descending order. We put the highest exponent for x first, then we put the x to the first power, and then we put the minus 4. See? And now we've rewritten it. And even if we have a triangle, and it's got all these binomials or polynomials going around it, we can write them all in one big long sentence with a plus sign in between each one. Because if you look, see this one? It's right here, isn't it? And this, this one right here, x squared minus x plus 4, that's right here, isn't it? See? And then here's this one, this final one. So we can combine these like terms. We look for the like terms. So where do we see just an x alone? We see one here, and we see one here. So now we've got 2x minus x. That's going to give us just an x. Now where do we see numbers by themselves? We see a plus 1, a plus 4, a minus 5. We can combine those. 
1 plus 4 is 5, minus 5 is a 0, so all the orange ones are a 0, and then look at these teal colored ones, we've got x squared here, plus a 3x squared here. Well, x squared plus 3x squared gives us 4x squared. So now we've got an x, a 0, and a 4x squared, and we need to write them in descending order. So we don't need to write that one because it's a 0, it's nothing. We can just ignore it and eliminate it. And then this has got the highest exponent for x, so we've got 4x squared plus x, and then we're done writing it. See? That wasn't too bad, was it? So there'll be a link to the video that we covered for writing in ascending and descending order in the description. But if you've been following along with each video, you should be okay, all right? And that's how we can do composite figures and write polynomials for them. In the next video, 5.7b, we're actually going to stack the polynomials in columns and add them. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye.